Hey everyone, it's Mandy from Daydream Face Painting. Today I'm going to show you this puppy look using this, the Krivolin Rainbow Cake in the color Ocean. You can see it's got the dark blue, a shimmery blue in the middle, and the white on this side. This is the smaller 40 gram size. It's perfect for little faces. Um, when I first started face painting, I was always surprised at the amount of little girls that would ask me for blue and say that blue is their favorite color. Blue butterflies, blue kitties, blue puppies. So this, is, this would be a great one for that. So if you guys would like to see how I did this, keep watching. The Krivolin Half Circle Smaller Sponges are the perfect size for these 40 gram Krivolin Rainbow Cakes. So first I'm just going to start with some of the white from the cake and I'm just going to put it all over my nose and above my lip and to the sides almost in a triangle shape. Then I'm going to take some of the darker blue and just make two little small spots above the inner corners of my eyebrows. Next I mix together some of the shimmery blue from the cake and the white and it makes this really pretty soft shimmery powder blue color and I'm just going to come and fill in around the cheek area, um, or on the forehead area, um, a little bit kind of in a triangle shape above the dark blue and I will just do a mirror image on the other side. I was inspired to create this puppy look by Jo Bertram of Fizz Bubble Face and Body Art. I'll put a link to her Instagram below. Go check her out. She is amazing. I'm just going to come in with a baby wipe and kind of clean it up to shape the sides exactly how I want them. And I also wanted the area around the eyes to have a little triangle shape indentation. So I'm just wiping that area away too. I'm going to go ahead and come in with some of the Krivolin Metallic Red to paint the tongue area so it can be drying in time for the outlines and the highlights. So I'm using some of the dark blue from the cake to create the nose shape. I had the most trouble making a puppy nose on this design. I have no trouble making it on little kids because their noses are usually kind of small and closer to the face and my nose is kind of big and pointy and bumpy but on a kid this is usually really really easy to make that cute puppy shape. Now I'm just coming down a straight line with a little triangle at the bottom and I'm filling in the other half of the lip with the dark blue. And I still wasn't happy with the shape of the nose, so it's no big deal. I'm just going to come in with a baby wipe and wipe that part away and just fill it back in with a little bit more of the blue. And I'm going to come back in and reshape it in a little better way. Even though this blue is a super dark, pigmented, intense blue, it wipes away really easily. So that's one good thing about it. Now we're going to create the muzzle area. I'm just pulling a line up from the corner of the outside of the mouth. And then I'm going to go in with a slightly damp sponge and just kind of fade out the edges of the dark blue. This is an optional step. You don't have to do this if you're kind of in a rush for time. You can leave this step out. For making the dots, you really want to get a lot of water on your brush and load it really well to avoid having kind of frayed out, yucky dots. You want some really nice dots. Make sure you have plenty of water. Now we're just going to flick out some lines for the hair in the center of the forehead. And we're going to create the outlines of the puppy ears. We're just going to try to go for that thin to thick just to give it some interest and to make a really great ear shape. And now we're just going to flick some lines downward and curving in toward the muzzle for the puppy's hair on each side of the cheek. And 
And now that the tongue is nice and dry, we can go in with the dark blue and outline it as well and pull a little line down the center. And now I'm going to go in with some white and just add some highlights along the top and bottom edges of the ears and on the hair in the center of the forehead and also on the fur on each side of the cheeks. And another little highlight just along the top edge of the nose. And if you were doing this on a boy, you could just stop right there. But since we're making this a girly puppy, we're going to add some eyelashes. Just going to flick some lines upwards from the outer edge of the eye. And now I'm going to double load a petal brush with some of the dark blue from the cake and the white. And we're going to add a double dipped flower on the cheek and one on the ear as well. Now I'm going to go in with a few little white dots on a number one brush just to give it a really dainty girly look. And now I'm going to take some of my Afterglow Iridescent Blue Cosmetic Glitter and I'm just going to add that throughout the design to give it a lot of extra sparkle. This is such a pretty pretty blue glitter. And next in the centers of each flower I'm just going to add a little clear gem. And obviously, if you were doing this at an event, you wouldn't probably have time to add eyeshadow, but since I did, I wanted to glam it up a little bit and make it look even girlier. And that's it. That's the finished girly puppy look. I hope you guys like this and you can try it out at your next event. Thanks for watching. See you next time.